morning from Gopis. <coughs> we are leaving for Chilas today uh, as uh, we had to change some plans due to landslides and road blockages on Chitral side. Uh, so, but, but just before leaving this place, uh, the Gupis guest house, I would definitely like to say a few very good words about this place. You can see this is a pretty neat and clean room here. Uh, this Gupis guest house is uh, on the left side. Uh, if you are coming from Gilgit side, and it's just like 100 meters from the main road, uh, so easy approach. Uh, it's a small unit with only three rooms so far. They are planning to expand it uh, within this year. <clears throat> but I mean, if uh, you don't need uh, sort of privacy, you can easily accommodate 10, 12, even 15 people in this small place already. And the guy here, Naim, he is a, he's an absolute pro. He knows his job. Uh, uh, like I'd say that in 10, 10, 11 days of our trip so far, this is the place where we got the best services, whatever we needed, like uh, hot water, it was available 24 hours here, uh, chai whenever we needed it, <coughs> and uh, Naim was just absolutely amazing, and it was pretty cheap as well, as compared to most hotels that we've used on this trip, but still, uh, I had to say these good words about this place uh, for Naim's service. Uh, we came here a bit late last night. Uh, he went with Bilal to the uh, store because we wanted to have chai and uh, uh, some sorts of snacks like high tea rather than proper dinner. <coughs> he made chai himself and then uh, he provided hot water at night in the morning again for showers. <coughs> And I mean, it was uh, an absolute 10 by 10 experience here. So if you are coming towards this side, you are going to Pandar, you are going to Shandur side, and you have to stay here. This is a highly, highly recommended place and in very, very good price as well. And this is Naim Bhai, he knows what he's doing. We got absolutely amazing service at this small place. Thank you Naim Bhai. We at about 8 in the morning and it is right now 9.35 and we have reached back at our favorite hotel, our favorite restaurant actually, where we will have breakfast. Uh, we wanted to have it at the start of the journey at Gupis, but uh, the guest said that we can probably drive for a couple of hours uh, and then we stop for breakfast and it was definitely a good idea because when you have to travel this much it's always good to have short breaks on the way Right, Gilgit, uh, just behind me, uh, right there, behind that white car. Here, you can see the gate that is uh, right on the entry point of Gilgit city. Uh, or right now, we exited from this gate, and now we will be heading this way, uh, this way where that car was going uh, towards Chilas. Uh, it took us almost. Uh, we started about 8.30 and it's 1.30 so it's, it's taken us almost 5 hours from Gupis to Gilgit and uh, we definitely had a stop of almost 1 hour for breakfast as well so it's taken us around 4 hours for our journey from Gupis uh, to this place now we are uh, we have stopped here for using restrooms and uh, uh, buying some drinks you can see right behind me Rustam Bhai there enjoying his coke and uh, Natasha I think is looking for the ice cream and in 5 minutes time we move for our next part of the journey. So there is a bit of change in plans. Uh, we had planned to reach at least Dasu today. Uh, which is another three, three and a half hours drive from here. But the guests were tired, so uh, we decided to find a room here, find rooms here, 
and uh, uh, stay here tonight and tomorrow we leave early morning and try to reach as close to Kalam as possible uh, because the day after tomorrow we are uh, planning to see Ushu Forest, uh, Mataltan Glacier and uh, uh, Mohodan Lake. Uh, so it all depends on how far or from here or how close to Kalam we can reach uh, tomorrow. Last we are staying at Panorama Hotel uh, which is right on the main road if you are coming from uh, uh, Raikot side or uh, if you are coming down from Babusar uh, from where you take a left turn towards the last city uh, this panorama hotel is at almost at the end of the city on the left side so uh, we are leaving today for Swat Valley our plan is, our destination is Kalam today, but it is like 9 to 10 hours drive from here. So probably we might uh, make a stop at uh, somewhere around Madian or Bahrain. Uh, if uh, the guests are tired before reaching Kalam, uh, in that way we can, like, we will have to drive like another couple of hours tomorrow morning. To Kalam and then we will start exploring the area. This place I would definitely definitely like to show you guys this beautiful place you can see all around me. Uh, so they have a well designed hotel here. It is a panorama hotel in Chilas and uh, there are the rooms on that back side and uh, in front of every line of rooms there is this big lawn where you can sit and spend some time very close to nature. And I always, always love to stay in these kinds of places. I have my hotel in Skardu, that's Travel Lodges Skardu, that's also similar. Dasu uh, right now, uh, that's like our first big stop today. Then Bisham, then Shanta, and then all the way to Bahrain or Kalam, wherever we decide to uh, spend the night. Okay. And uh, uh, about this road from Chilas to Bisham, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, last time I was here, uh, in October last year, it was in pretty horrible condition most part of the road but right now we have traveled for like uh, 50 kilometers and probably just a patch of 3-4 kilometers was pretty rough other than that you can see right behind me it's a pretty decent road to drive on uh, although there are some very sharp turns so you cannot go like 90 or 100 uh, but 60-70 is easily to go into from Chilas to Dasu uh, and uh, there is a place Lutas where we stopped for some pictures and uh, this police van arrived there and they uh, sort of ordered us that we should use police escort for the next phase. So I, I tried to convince them that it is safe and we can go without the escort but uh, they were sort of insisting so uh, and also you know there are no charges involved there is no uh, other complications in this he just wanted that he will start driving and we just follow him and uh, after every 10 15 kilometers uh, this police van changes and so uh, uh, now this one is our third van and uh, she wanted some more adventure so she got on the van uh, and now she is taking pictures standing right there with the security guy and our car is following us right now. With Afsar Khan, and we are on our way to Dasu right now.
Museum and we have just arrived in Bisham. Now we will be taking the Shangla road from here. But before that, uh, we wanted to make sure to fuel up our car and also uh, almost all of us needed to use restrooms and also walk around a bit because we are sitting in the car from like uh, 8.15 in the morning and uh, it's almost 7 hours or something we are on the go Uh, and after getting registered at the check post here, uh, now we are at the viewpoint here. And you can see all the people enjoying the view. And uh, it's quite high here, so uh, although it's uh, hot, but still the wind is pretty cool. And uh, just to give you an idea of this place, it's pretty much like. Uh, the Galiad region or Mari and its surroundings. Uh, you can see behind me all the tall trees, lush green mountains. So I, I'm here for the first time as well and uh, it's giving me exact vibes like uh, I'm standing somewhere in the Galiad region right now. It's 7.30, almost 12 hours on the road. And uh, we are at Cham Ghadi, which is uh, almost 20 kilometers from Kalam. Uh, but this thing we must have calculated before that, uh, you know, because of Eid holidays, uh, uh, Kalam is full, fully packed right now. And uh, even uh, here, there was some, uh, there is a small bridge at Cham Ghadi, and uh, hundreds of cars coming from both sides. Uh, so it's sort of a big traffic jam here. I have fortunately found uh, parking on the roadside. I wanted to rest my legs for some time. Also we are hoping to find some accommodation place here rather than going all the way to Kalam uh, because we can do like uh, uh, the jeep track tomorrow. Uh, we can start from here as well and also on the next day it will be easier to head back towards Islamabad if we can stay somewhere around this place rather than entering Kalam which is absolutely packed right now. So we are right now at Cham Ghadi. This place is uh, about 20 kilometers before Kalam if you are coming from uh, Migora side of course. Uh, and uh, we were stuck here on a big traffic jam in a big traffic jam and uh, we were on the road from more than 12 hours when we got stuck here and fortunately for me my guests or my clients uh, they are very understanding very cooperative so whenever I have to take some decision uh, or change some plan uh, for the best interest of the group of course uh, they are always supportive they never make a uh, mess about things uh, that you know you promised this you committed that and blah 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 so I'm definitely fortunate to have such a group with me on this trip and uh, they also wanted to sleep uh, I mean they wanted to get into the rooms as soon as possible so they were more than happy with my regard we got uh, pretty ordinary rooms here uh, but still they are good enough they are neat and clean and uh, good enough to spend the night uh, inside them of course and for myself and Bilal I got a very nice regard actually uh, I'll just show you uh, we go upstairs and I'll show you what my room is 